Hello everybody, welcome to another All oh. Maverick Reaction. What have you done? <laughs> I wasn't ready to carry on. <laughs> I said, are you ready? Yeah, just go with it, it's fine. Go with it, okay. <laughs> well, welcome to an All... Jesus Christ. Hello <laughs> everybody, welcome to another All Maverick Reaction with hey, me, Alan and Jez. <laughs> this is seamless, Jez. This is going so well so far. <laughs> we are back with some more Lost. We are watching Season 2, Episode 4, Everybody Hates Hugo. Jez, you hate Hugo. No, I love Hugo. Well, there we go. Not everybody hates Hugo. They're talking rubbish. Yeah. Uh, last episode, uh, Locke resided himself to pushing the button. No, Jack did. Oh, yeah. Well, Jack pushed it at the yeah. end, but then kind of left, the end. Kind of just left Locke to it, really, didn't they, in a way? Yeah. And we've got the three amigos trapped in the... Um... Oh, trapped in the pit. Trapped yep. in the pit. Found yep. out double that Anna cross. Lucia was double-crossing yeah. them. Definitely. I think it's safe to say this is a Hurley-based episode. I'll say so. Well, shall we jump in and give it a watch? Yeah, do it. Okay, right, so everybody, this is Lost Season 2, Episode 4, Everybody Hates Hugo. Let's go, Jez, in three, two, one, go. Oh. I thought it was this episode. Yeah, that's like chocolate that's been down there a yeah, long it's been, time. Look, it's, it? go, it's gone grey. Absolutely you know, smashed that, that kind of, yeah. <laughs> or when it gets too cold, right, and then warm again. Yeah. It kind of gets that kind of grey tinge. Right, Hurley, I think you need a... Um... Hurley, mate, set... Hurley, you fucking animal. What? What the fuck? What's that? <laughs> Why is there a what? steak? Why is, Why is there it in a cardboard box? Why is Why there is a steak in a box? Jin, you're here. <laughs> I sure am. I sure uh, am. Hold on a minute, Jim's in the pit. Speak English. Oh, he's speaking English? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a dream. No, you're speaking Korean. What the fuck? Who's that guy? Everything's going to change. Have a cluckety cluck cluck day, Hugo. <laughs> Early. Oh, he's dreaming it all. Blimey hell. And the food as well, I'm guessing. Fell asleep? Well, the steak in the box, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's so weird. Grab the rope. <laughs> uh, no. Please. Yes, yeah, nicely. Yeah. Before he comes down there and caves your head in. Yeah. Climb the rope or I shoot your friend. She's bluffing. Guns only got one bullet. She ain't gonna waste it. Ow! <laughs> 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 At least you know they don't have guns. Don't, don't, well, they didn't have yeah. one on the beach anyway, did they? They had kind no, of. No, just sticks. Sticks and stuff, yeah. Four, eight, 15, 16, and 23 with. Didn't win in the lottery. The 16th week without a winner. <laughs> <laughs> you have to change your life. Over. A hat. What's in it? Nothing really. We well, know it's underground. Yeah. It looks like a bunker. Hey, Rose. Hey, yourself. Doing laundry, huh? Indeed, I am. You want to hand me those dirty clothes over there? No, I'll be hand washing anyone else's pants. <laughs> yeah. And you tell them they ain't like washed every day or anything, are they? they... Oh, no. <laughs> Those stains be hard to get out. Oh. You know out there, everyone's asking me what's in the hatch. Well, whatever it is, it's not going to help get this laundry done, now is it? <laughs> it might. <laughs> Being there's a bloody yes, room a washing for that. Machine. Well, there's a washing machine in there. Actually, it sort of is. <laughs> She's like, what? Hello, Jack. Hey, Rose. She's In what world does Jack think he's allowed to just keep this thing a secret? Yeah. Oh. Message in a bottle. Well, it's all those messages they wrote, isn't it? Remember? We saw... Oh, well, when they're on the... Um, it's all the ones on the raft. That, yeah, it's all the messages Charlie was getting people to yes. write, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apollo bars. You ever hear of these? Mm-mm. Like candy is candy. That's what Bernard always says. Bernard, that was your husband? Is my husband. Oh, but I thought it was in the back of the plane. I'm sorry, I didn't... Is Bernard going to be alive? Uh, Kate, you, you can't take it. Thanks, Early. Oh, shit. It's just one bottle. Hmm. It's where it starts. That little lottery ticket looks like it's been printed at home. Yeah. There he is! The guy from Road Trip. Oh, yeah, 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 I know you mean, yeah. You okay? It's a bit like you, Jez. <laughs> <laughs> you dropped a few pounds. <laughs> you owe the company for an eight-piece dark meat combo. I didn't need eight pieces. Do you want to watch the whole tape? <laughs> oh, 
And why you're here. Those napkins cost money. All right, it's two per customer. Two. We're not made of money here. I once had a proper argument with someone working in Burger King made of money. about the number of napkins they wouldn't give me. Oh my God, of course you did. <laughs> and, it was like, and then I felt bad afterwards. I thought, they were like minimum wage. I've just been like a right ass to them. But then I thought also, they're not their napkins. Just give me some fucking napkins. How many napkins were you taking? I was given like two, but they, what I hate is they shoved them in the bag of all like the fries. Like, they're greasy napkins now. I don't want greasy napkins. Give me fresh ones. <laughs> First world problems, mate. <laughs> yeah. I don't want a greasy napkin. Why do they put it in the bag? Or like, on the, so yes, it's like I don't fucking chips. work for Mr. Clocks. Don't take it out with me. Who needs money when you got good looks? <laughs> Fuck it out. Look at this. Fucking pussy patrol over here. <laughs> Come out now. I saw you back at the rock. There are a lot of secrets around here, and I'm tired of being at the bloody kids' table. On the other side of this door, there's more concrete. I'd say it's at least eight to ten feet thick. Maybe don't, maybe stop smashing it. Yeah, what are you bothering? Maybe, maybe... You see what's behind there? Oh, it's the magnet thing. Yeah, too. probably don't go back there if there's eight to ten foot of concrete <clears throat> and titanium. Perhaps we can go under it. Mm, why? Just leave it be. Just leave it be. Just push the button. Eat the food, leave it be. <clears throat> Everything is cool. We had a talk and they believe we were on the plane too. Swell. Guess we can all sue Oceanic together. So they were plane survivors then, are we yeah. confirming that? Looks like it. You got a rock? You got three seconds to drop. Oh. Ah! Hey! <laughs> when I tell you to do something, you do it. She's like the jack of the group. <laughs> yeah. You hit me again, I'll kill you. Let's go. She pushes it, but he just caves her head in with a rock. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I gave you fair fucking warning, love. Like, Ros like Ryan Gosling in Drive in the lift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scene. Just absolutely, just absolutely <laughs> mental. Starts curb stomping. And what happens if we don't push it? We're not going to find out. I'm still working on it, but it looks like it's going to be two-person shifts every six hours or so. Shifts. Pushing a button. You want it in, Charlie? <laughs> Oh, and there's a record player. Oh, now he's, now he's hooked. Yeah, now he's in. Arch. Like, I don't even Is want... Is peanut butter? Peanut butter? Uh, yeah. A couple of jars. Brilliant. How about you give us one? Oh, this is what I heard he didn't want. Yeah. It's for Claire. No can do, man. You're saying no to a nursing mother? It's not like that. Oh, it's exactly like that. Oh, yeah, I forgot yeah. they did that imaginary... Yeah. Yeah. Peanut yeah. butter. And you've got to remember when she came back after losing her memory, she was like, why have I got this memory of peanut butter? There was another yeah. little bit there. You are everybody. <laughs> you are one hit wonders. Drive shaft. They're in the one hit wonder section. Hugo. Star luck. Why are you chuckleheads at work? We're currently exploring. Oh, she looks familiar as well. The whole steady's playing the troubadour this weekend. And I was wondering, maybe Friday. I have to work. Oh, no, I didn't. Mean... I could probably go Saturday. That cool? No, they're playing on Friday. Yeah. Did you not hear what I said? They poured concrete all the way down here too. It's weird, isn't it? Almost like going down there's a terrible yeah. idea. My best guess, it's a geothermal generator behind this wall. I just want to be messing with that stuff. Yeah, it's not fucking about. The last time I heard of concrete being poured over everything in this way was Chernobyl. And you're down there and you were yeah. up there before <laughs> smacking it with a piece of titanium. What the hell is going on? Oh, you pervert. Get out of here, you little pervert, or I'm going to slap you <laughs> silly. Slap you silly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're cooking, Frankie. <laughs> I'm Libby. Michael, how many of you survived? 23 of us. That's a pretty good number. So, Not bad. So there's over 60 of them in total. We're here. What are you going to do, beam us up? <laughs> The fuck's this place? Another, another that station. That old man looked familiar. I'll tell you where you know him from in a minute. Well, I'll tell you where you potentially know him from. Head of Wolfram and Hart. Oh, uh, yeah, an, an angel. angel. Yep. Yeah. I thought you said there were 23 of them. They were. Oh, shit. God, that's a lot been. <laughs> that's, 
Their numbers been have taken, been severely they? depleted. Son, don't worry about this shit anymore. We got loads of food in the hatch. They just start kicking it in. What's wrong? I found something out in the water. You know, we thought you should know. It. It's the messages from the raft. I mean, they could easily have fallen in, right? Yeah. Change is good, Hugo. You know, people say that, but it's not true, man. Trust me, I know. How am I going to do it? Find someone else to deal with the chow, man. No, we all have our jobs, Hugo. My job is to convince people to push a button every 108 minutes without them knowing why or, or what. Put that gun to the head. <laughs> yeah, I think he's got a good reason. I want to do this, man. I'll sit at that computer all day, Locke. Yeah. <laughs> With brown pants. Sorry, Hugo. You don't get to quit. Okay, then. Yeah, but like, fuck this then. <laughs> this is just going to start eating it all. Like I said, one for the island, one for Hurley. Two for the island, two for Hurley. Fucking hell, why they got that some of the dynamite still? Yeah, that's a bad idea. Let's go. <laughs> you think we got enough gnomes? Okay, we're good. What are they thinking people's gnomes? Hey! Run. <laughs> Is that the boss? <laughs> Cluck you. <laughs> Written in gnomes. So random. Promise me that you and I will always stay the same. Not only will I stay gold, pony boy, I will drink to it. Can I borrow two bucks? <laughs> Early, mate. Come on. Why is she taking it into the bunker? Doesn't want to deal with the food anymore, does he? How does he no. know how the dynamite works? Like, what's going on? What you got there, Hurley? It's dynamite. Well, what are you doing with it? I'm sorry, but I can't let it happen again. Why is there a news crew here? Dude, let's go. They jack the prices here. Is that, is that where he got the ticket from? Mm -hmm, I think so. So you can tell that, right? They can tell where like winning tickets were bought from and stuff. Yeah. Look, just get out of here. But you're gonna hurt somebody. Uh uh. You haul me off of the beach and you drag me into this place. The least I can get is an explanation before you blow it up. You don't get it. This is gonna mess it all up. It's very quick back and forth. We don't tend to jump no. back and forwards that quick. Somebody won the lottery. Let me tell you something, Rose. We were all fine before we had any potato chips. But now we got these potato chips, and everyone's going to want them. So Steve gets them. Charlie's pissed, but he's not pissed at Steve. He's pissed at me. That's the guy. That's the guy. And I'm going to be in the middle of it. And then it's going to be, what about us? Well, why, why, did, why didn't I get any potato chips? Come on, help us out, Hurley. Well, why'd you give Kate the shampoo? And why didn't I get the peanut butter? Then they'll get really mad and start asking, why does Hugo have everything? Why should he get to decide? Then they'll all hate me. Would that be your friend's reaction? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you got 156 million, wasn't it? I'd be like, my best mate just won the lottery. I'm getting some of that pie. Yeah, yeah, 156 <laughs> million. Here you go, here's a couple mil. Yeah. Check yourself. You sort, you right. sort your friends out, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> He's going to be like, oh yeah, I'm going to buy myself those headphones. I'm not going to lend you that $2, by the way. Yeah, I'm not sure I'd be that good. It was kept a secret. No. No. Are you serious? I get why Hurley would want to ask that girl beforehand, right? Like, yeah. ask her out. I get that. No, I get that, yeah. Another three months. We have 40 people. It's just not going to work. Look, you put me in charge. This is what we're doing. What's the plan? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, he's getting out. Okay. It's the thing. Hurley has to realise that doing these things can actually make people happy rather than making yeah. everybody, like, sad and angry. So I'm guessing the case with how many people there, how much food there is, there's no point in rationing it because... Well, it's just good. Yeah, it's not going to go anywhere, is it? No. Like I said, it'll make people annoyed. 
<laughs> Baby's got a peanut allergy. <laughs> yeah. It's got ends up looking like the elephant man. <laughs> My baby! She undoes the lid and the baby's head explodes. And now it's a fucking filthy. <laughs> One of the few moments we've really had since early episodes of people looking happy. They tend yeah. to get those little moments in early episodes, actually. Like, there was that one in the first season where he sat on the beach listening to music on his headphones. And yeah. uh, everyone's kind <clears throat> of uh, the Damien Rice track. And, uh, yeah, everyone's just kind of having a good time. Be quick, you're missing out on all the food. Yeah. Excuse me. Hi. Back where you guys, uh, where you came from. Is there a woman named Rose there? Black chick in her 50s. She okay? Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, man. She's okay. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm Bernard. Yeah, she never bloody stops talking about you, mate. Bernard went, went deep in the old acting for that scene, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. He's left, he's left extra status. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pocket and one for Bernard when he comes back. Yeah. Oh, that was a nice ending. Right, there we go. That was a Lost Season 2, Episode 4, Everybody Hates Hugo. Or not. Or not. Jez, how much that episode did you remember? Not, nothing. Nothing at all. Not no. a smidge. Zilch. Zilch. Uh, what did you think of it? Zero. I enjoyed it, yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's like yeah. one of the no, best, it was... but it's but it's a solid. It's got, I really like the ending, though. The ending is solid. It was, nice. it was a nice ending, yeah. I, I'd agree with you that it's not one of my favourite episodes, but I still enjoyed the episode. Um... I'm glad I found out that the others are are what you thought from yeah well we knew we knew she was but yeah. I, again I didn't know so it's yeah it's nice to know that all of them are just another another group of survivors another group that are survivors yeah so that um, were 23 and now look like there's maybe what, like six 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 ish yeah, something six. like that yeah so not uh not good for this other group six maybe seven at a push. Well, if they're um, smart, they if they're smart, they'll go and join the others, right? Because well, you think so, wouldn't you? The amount they've lost in people compared to how much the main group have lost so far. Yeah, I guess the question um, is, what's happened to the what's happened to the rest of them? Yeah, yeah, are they dead or have they been taken? Monster in the jungle, others. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God, I I don't know, polar monster. bears. Yeah, yeah. You know, many other many other things could be afoot. Mm. I'd like seeing a bit more of Hurley from you know his his. Yeah. I, I worries over the lottery ticket. Um, yeah, I, I don't I think... I struggle... Sorry. Oh, no, what were you going to say? Sorry? I, I struggle to get in the mindset of someone in Hurley's position winning the lottery, but, and then not... Yeah. I, I was. That's what I was going to kind of say the same thing. Do you thing, know what I mean? Really. Yeah, it um, felt a bit far. He's, he's worries with his... M I get the worries with the girl. He wanted to say the girl that he liked yeah. her for, because, you know, then the worry is if he's won the lottery and then he asks her, she says yes. And he's like, well, would she have said yes either way? Or is she going to say yes now because I've won 156 million? But I don't get the worry with his mate, right? I think it's it's almost like they just created that narrative just for the food situation, haven't they? Yeah, it felt almost. quite, con it felt a bit contrived. Yeah. Like, yeah. if you won the lottery, I wouldn't be like, Ugh. He didn't tell me for the one, the first day that you yeah, won that, it. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, it was, and then Hurley looking like real sad and like he's always betrayed his friend and just staring at him and, <laughs> yeah. Um, but then also not wanting to, like you said, yeah, I get I get the girl, I, I understand that. Yeah. Um, just to see if it's true or not, mm -hmm. not for the money. But also yeah. Hurley was going to tell him, right? He yeah. was already saying to him, oh, you know, that's promised nothing's going to change. And yeah. Like... You know, so I, I, I find it a slightly contrived And link. also, the guy who sold the lottery ticket, did he just sell one lottery ticket that day? <laughs> yeah, that's the guy. What? That's that guy, all right, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway. yeah I, I was thinking that as they were there talking to him. It's like, well, he's not going to specifically remember, oh, yeah, I remember that 
big yeah. fat dude that came in at 9.31 p.m. and bought a lottery ticket from me. I don't know. Like, I, 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 I get the situation Hurley was in in the island, but his way of, his rationale is somewhat bizarre, right? Yeah. Like, he's, his jump to, I need to blow it up, is like, mm, what? Pardon? Yeah, I wasn't really feeling that. That was like... Not, uh... You know, the the end result was good, and I was I really liked where the episode yeah, ended. Yeah, nice ending. Yeah. Nice ending. Um, Getting to see everyone happy for once. And Bernard's alive. Bernard's it's all alive. Good. That's the you know that's that was the real nice ending bit, right? Yeah. We, we get to see earlier on Rose talking about the fact that Bernard had a real sweet tooth, or she said he was all sweet teeth, and you know she's continued to. It's it's. I think it's interesting to see that she has repeatedly, when she talks to anybody about Bernard, said he's still alive. But then you get yeah. that one little moment where it's just her, and you see that she does really believe that. You know, she's yeah. not saying it just when she talks to other people. She takes that chocolate bar, puts it in her pocket, because, you know, it is kind of at least a comfort to her, right? The yes. idea yeah. that that he, he is still out there. Yeah, so it's no. a, nice, uh, a nice bit of narrative. Good episode. Looking forward to seeing more about the other group. Um, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Message in the bottle. What the messages, the messages turned up as well. We didn't mention that. Yeah. And um, Sun has obviously buried them. What do you yeah, think of that think, situation? I think she probably did the right thing because I think mm -hmm. with how happy and together the group were, I think they're just like giving them that news. And I think everyone will jump to conclusions and think, oh, they're dead. But yeah. like you said in the episode, it's it could end. So many things could have happened. They could have look at know, Wilson, right? Yeah, fallen off the boat. And if it, yeah. you know, it's st stormy out there, and um, yeah, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't benefit the group, does it? No, it's showing them they can't change it. They're out of sea, aren't yeah. they? Well, they're not yeah. out of sea, but they think they're out of sea. They yeah, can't do anything yeah, about exactly. it. Exactly. Either yeah. they're okay and the boat message fell off the boat, or they've sunk. But either way, if they find another way whilst they're on the island to escape, they'd obviously take it anyway. They wouldn't yeah. be like, nah, no, nah, we sent a boat out. We'll be fine. We'll just wait for that to that to come back so and obviously like a lot of interesting stuff going on around the bunker as well right uh for some bizarre reason jack and saeed are smashing something with a piece of <laughs> titanium even though saeed's like ah, oh, the last time i heard about something buried buried in cement it was chernobyl so yeah Leave probably stop hitting it with a bit of metal then just an idea. <laughs> jack did, jack, jack, jack did, the pervert jack did a bit of perving yeah <laughs> did a bit of perving yeah Let, made kate feel a little bit uncomfortable definitely gonna yeah. be a complaint sent to hr about that one uh, but no it was it was a it was a fun episode it had some fun moments to it but for me the hurley stuff just felt a little contrived but yeah. like you like you said to fit the narrative they were trying to maybe something at me you know maybe we'll, we'll see something else in other hurley flashbacks that will continue to reinforce that possibly yeah that storyline but right now with what we know at this point it feels a little forced for why his feeling would be so dramatic sure. we, yeah. we know the numbers had some kind of negative impact on hurley when he won the lottery because he's spoken about it quite a lot he spoke yeah. about having a lot of bad luck so you know maybe we'll see more of that but obviously we saw a little bit of that right that um when we saw the episode where like he got his mum that put his mum a house and like the house burnt down and i think his uncle had a heart attack do you remember it was yeah. like one of the very yeah. first early episodes and he got arrested because people thought he'd like stolen the car and stuff like that but i mean other than his uncle none of that's that dramatic right guys got no. 156 million even the house burning down yeah that. you can buy by plenty of them, can't you? By multiple houses. <laughs> Interesting little dream as well with Hurley at the start, actually, with Jin speaking English and then being like, no, you're, you're oh, speaking Korean. Oh, that's so Korean. trippy. I was like, what's going yeah. on? I got really confused at the beginning. And then yeah. it's like, who's the guy in the, duck in the, in the <laughs> chicken outfit? That was the guy from work, right? That was one of the people yeah. from his work. Yeah. Um, I think it was the, the, was it it was the, the boss? boss, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh. And obviously him uh, him saying, you know, everything's everything's going to change is what, uh, is what uh, Jim was saying to him which was obviously reinforcing his worry, right? Yes. That the food situation was going to uh, change how everyone how everyone saw him. But yeah. no, a, a fun a fun episode with a with a night with just a nice ending to it, especially as we're kind of in this position now, right, where we've got that viewpoint where we know Bernard's alive, we know Rose is alive, and we know that at some point if we're lucky we'll get to see that kind of like that moment of them coming back together, which yeah. they are currently both unaware of. Well, oh. But no, that's an idea. Yeah, go on. I forgot his name, but we, we need to know what happened to. How you doing, my brother? my brother? Desmond. 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 Yeah, yeah. No Desmond in this episode. Locke yeah. mentioned that he tried to track him, but he lost him, which I find right. strange because yeah, Locke's, Locke's pretty good. He's a good tracker, and Desmond was not trying to cover his. Path. No. He was just kind <laughs> no. of stumbling out and running off. 
Yeah. Um, and I mean, even even Jack managed to track him down, right? Last episode, yeah. Jack caught up with him. So I find it weird that Locke wouldn't be able to track him, but fine, whatever. It's fine. Maybe he didn't want to. You know what Locke's like. Yeah, you, know, yeah, look, you never quite know what Locke wants no. to. The thing no. is with Locke is he's a... He's a strange one in a way, isn't he? Because like when when Charlie said, I want to know, he went, okay. And just told him all the details. And he has got kind of, like he said to Hurley, whilst he was putting his rifle together, he's like, my <laughs> job is to convince people to push a button every 108 minutes without telling them why or for what reason. Um, or in my case, every 30 minutes. <laughs> every, every, every 12 minutes for Jeremy. <laughs> after he tries to get out of his shift um, by pushing the button early. Um, no, a good episode. Enjoyed it. Looking forward to the next one, yes, which is indeed. called And Found, is the name of the next episode. So Lost and Found. Uh, so there we go. Looking forward to that one, which we will be checking out soon. Anything else you want to say about this one, Jez? Nope. Cool. Thanks well, for watching, everyone. Thank you for watching, everybody. Very much appreciate it. As always, please remember to like and subscribe. Leave your comments below. Let us know what you thought about this episode. What did you think about the Hurley sections? Contrived? Can you see his reason for wanting to... For his mate being so gutted, he wanted to keep it from his friend. Let us know your thoughts. Remember, no spoilers. Jez has a, ma a brain like a sieve. He remembers none of the series. Fine with me. Jez, not so much. <laughs> uh, if you want to come and chat with us directly, please check out the links in the description to all of our social channels, especially our Discord server. Come join the server and chat with us directly about Lost and any other TV shows. Also, we've just released the first episode of our reaction series for uh, The Last of Us. We're yes. really enjoying it. Brilliant it's, first episode. It's yeah. almost like the anti-Willow, which we yes. are dragging our way through. If you're watching this and you're like, why have they not done episode seven or eight of Willow yet? Trust me, they're coming. We tried to record episode seven of Willow before this. Jeremy's Disney Plus didn't, Plus didn't allow it. it. <laughs> Disney <laughs> Plus like, no. didn't even want to watch it. Uh, so there you go. But we will get round to them. Please bear with us. Anyway, thank you for watching, everybody. Appreciate it as ever. We'll see you next time. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.